All right, hello, doers. My name is Jose Ignacio, and welcome back. Now it's time for more Odoo IoT Box fun, but this time we're working with the virtual Windows IoT Box. Now, the virtual IoT Box is a computer program that needs to be downloaded as well as installed onto your Windows computer. Now, this will require a Windows operating system with an Odoo 16 or later database as well. So make sure you have that before getting started. All right, now the Windows Virtual IoT Box works the same way as the physical IoT Box, with the ability to run most of the same devices as the physical device. Now, all point of sale or POS devices for my acronym lovers work with it, such as scales, printers, etc. Now, payment terminals will also work, but it should be noted that MRP devices are not compatible, such as cameras or measurement tools. So be sure to keep that in mind, O'Doers, and let's dive in. Now, once again, it is also important to connect your computer to a secure network that is also encrypted. There could be personally identifiable information or PII passing through the virtual IoT box to the internet. And we want that information to be extra secure. So don't do it. We recommend consulting a network specialist as well when setting up your network infrastructure. Also, while using the virtual IoT box, your PC will need to be powered on and connected to the internet in order to use the gadgets through your database. So be sure that your PC is on and that it has internet or that, you know, it's connected via Wi-Fi or Ethernet as well. And that's all I lay it. All right, enough chit chat. Let's get back into this. All right, Odoer, so here we are on my beautiful desktop on my nice gaming PC. Now I'm going to click on the top left download button just so that I can get the latest download for Odoo Virtual IoT. Now, I need to make a quick note that this can also be the Community Edition or the Enterprise Edition. It'll depend on your needs. Now, up next, I'm going to open the download, and I need to allow the installation right now. Want to make sure Odoo has all the permissions it needs. Now, up next, we see that Odoo would like us to choose an installation language. Now, for this demo, I'm going to select English. But please, if you do not understand English or it is not your native language, select your native language. Now, the following stage advises us that we close out any other programs, so we should do so before completion. And I'm going to select to continue. And next, we have an agreement that needs to be accepted prior to the install. Agree. If you disagree, that's on you. Now, this next page is important because we need to make a quick change to it. Now, from the drop down menu, I need to select the type of install. Now, when I do so, there's three options that you pretty much see here. Odoo Server and PostgreSQL Server, Odoo Server Only, and as well as Odoo IoT. In our case, Odoo IoT. So we're gonna select that and leave that setting for that alone, and then we're gonna click on Next. All right, now in this case, the destination folder is important. I've created an Odoo folder on my C drive, and that's just so that I can install the program onto the C drive. So that's where we will go and click Install. All right, once we do that, always give it a quick few minutes, Go grab a drink or something. All right, now that that's out of the way, there's another step where I'm going to select next and we'll be taken to a window where a pairing code appears. We won't use this pairing code though, so remember that. I'm gonna select next again and finally finish to start the server. Now a new window will appear with the information on the IoT box. It will have the address, which in this case will be a local host, and towards the bottom, there's a pairing code. In our case, we'll go ahead and copy the alphanumeric characters to the clipboard. Control C, Apple, Command C, whatever it is. And let's hop on over here to our Odoo database. So hop over there. All right, now that we're here navigating over to the database we'd like to link to virtual IoT, I'm gonna open up the IoT module and I'm gonna click on connect. Beautiful. Then I'm going to paste the token under section A and I'm gonna select on pair. And that's it. The virtual IoT will connect to the database now. And that's beautiful, load doers. And finally, over here, when I refresh the window, you'll see that IoT is now up and running. Beautiful. Okay, we're just about finished, and I promise you that we're already here towards the end. Now, the last step is we got to connect devices to the Windows computer. Now, Windows should automatically detect the device if the driver of the device is pre installed on the computer. If it's not, have the client search and install the Windows driver for, you know, whatever device you're plugging in. Now refresh the IoT box configuration page 
And I want you to verify the device is seen on the config page, because if it's not, you'll want to reload the handlers through the configuration page. And that's it for the virtual IoT box tutorial. It's pretty easy, right? Now I want you to stay tuned for other tutorials on how to connect specific devices with the IoT box, because I want to make sure some of you commenting can plug in your devices. So thanks for watching everyone, and I'll see you in the next one. And it's a hot one out there, so stay cold.